Morning guys, Mike here from EasyCigarRoller.com. Rolling some big fat ones for the uh, upcoming summer. Got a lot of events to go to. I don't know about you guys, but sometimes when you get to these events, everybody starts pulling out their big fat cigars. So we're not going to be outdone, are we? We're going to make some big ones. This is a piece of Seiko. Yeah. It's pretty long. I like to use the uh, and it's, I guess I'd call it a taco style. You make a pocket, put your own, make some like this. I'll take three pieces. I've already done the prep, pull out all the veins and everything. Just take three pieces of this, the hero, and then make some tubes. You've all seen this and hopefully done it if you're uh, into making your own cigar, which I assume you are for watching this video. And I'll take this, I'd like to put this one a little lower to kind of stop making the head of my cigar a little firmer. So put that there, and we'll tear this off. I don't wait till the end, I do all these as I, as I put them in so I know what I'm laying in. I'm going to take my Visos and on one side of the Lajero, other one on the other side of the Lajero, just a nice firm cigar, then I'll take the tails of the Seiko and put them on top, and then whatever, tear off whatever you want, make it the length you want. Some people don't like the tips. I don't mind the tips. Um, so then you put it in here. And the nice part about using this machine, and you can do it by hand, is you can do a pre-roll, and you can stop right now and feel feel your cigar. It feels pretty good. So I'll continue. If it didn't, um, it might be a little soft up here. You can take some scraps and put in a couple pieces of scrap to make that a little. Thicker. You take your binder, whatever you're using for a binder, that's up to you. You draw it down, keep it spread out. Put this on, but there's something interesting that I'm going to show you that I saw done on the video um, the other day. I watch a lot of videos, never seen it before, and I'll show you at the end. When I put the binder on, when I put the wrapper on these, I'll cut this off so I know which side my, I want to be my head, my cigar, and I'll put it all into the Flexo Roll product. You can use a certainly use a press if you want. Um, I have plenty of presses, but I just like this product because it adapts to the size of the density of the cigar I have, not to the. It doesn't make a lightly packed cigar into a certain ring size. So I end up with a bunch of bunch of air. And then simply draw it down and do something, draw it tight twice. Draw it nice and tight. And then I put tape on it. I like tape better than Velcro or elastics. Some of the guys who are using it like to uh, use elastics. That's cool. I'm with you. So uh, these will stay in here for about, well, however long you want to. So, um, you can see they're all slightly different sizes. That is because all the same blend, it's just the leaves are different sizes. When I try to make them, I try to pick through them, which inevitably you end up with leaves that aren't, aren't the same size. It's not like it's a professional factory where they have sorters who sort this out, and when they get it, Every leaf in that pile is exactly the same size, the same color, the same shape. The, the right's are on one side and the left's are on the other side. So they're a little more sophisticated than I am at home. Um, but I'll show you something interesting once I come back and wrap these. I'll be back in a couple hours and we'll just finish these up. And I'll show you something that I saw and you have to really be careful to watch the video and see what happens. I'll be back.
Hi guy, Mike back. Um, this is what I wanted to show you. I've watched some videos and I saw it twice. Once on a roller rolling Lucario Cubanos. And then I saw it the other day on a woman. She was rolling Partagas Blacks. And I've never seen them, anybody do it before. Maybe I've missed it, but I don't think so. And it's a pretty interesting thing that they do. She picks this piece up before she puts it out, does her cutting. I do this, I cut these big veins out. Um, I don't like veins. Um, then she had a sponge that she wiped the edge with. I'm assuming that's a, that's a glue to keep the edges down. And then she takes this piece, and you almost can't see her do it. I'll put a link in the video down below, where she takes it and she keeps it in her hand. And before she rolls the cigar, she rolls this piece um, around the end. Never seen it done before. Partagas Black is a really good cigar, so I'm assuming it's something that they do for that cigar. And then the rest of it's just kind of normal. Um, you'll see these these cut pieces will come right up. Sometimes you got to fight them a little bit, but it's not a big deal. I think it makes a nicer cigar because it doesn't have all those big veins in it. That's that's what I wanted to show you though, what that woman did with that part with those partigas. Interesting. Don't really know why partigas does that. Again, I think we all think it's for flavor. Um, I'm sure it's not just so they don't throw that little tiny piece of tobacco out, so there's gotta be some reason. Pretty good cigar maker. Not much better than a Partagas Black on the market, I don't think, depending on your taste, but that's a pretty good smoke. So, just thought I'd show it to you. And then while I'm making these monstrous cigars for the summer. <laughs> so. There you go. That's it. I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching.